So my thoughts on tonight's meeting uh, were pretty good. It was a little bit better than last week's meeting. Uh, I find that we're getting more in depth as each week goes on. Uh, we had the food like usual. And then when we got down to business, uh, we, you know, Joe ran around, went around the table and uh, spoke to each of us individually again. We went over strengths and weaknesses. Uh, we also talked about our weeks, uh, not, not real estate wise uh, or school wise. We just talked about what we did during the week. And uh, then we got into some strengths and weaknesses and discussed content creation. At one point at the meeting, Jocelyn actually, uh, I don't want to say yelled, but kind of uh, give him some trouble about some of the, his paperwork and things he had done. And it, it kind of makes me feel like I'm in the right place because it feels like he's really in the, trench, the trenches with us and we're all learning together still. Uh, he's sitting at the head of the table and he's the broker of record, but he's still human. And I really like this brokerage because we have the accountability and the openness. We can talk together and we can all see each other's strengths and weaknesses. Joe's asking the questions uh, and telling us our strengths and weaknesses, but we're also seeing everybody's strengths and weaknesses, including the broker of record, Joe. So the real estate school at Humber, the college program that I'm doing to become licensed is going really good. I'm doing lots of studying. Um, I wasn't studying as much as I should have, but I really kicked that in gear as I have my exam coming up. So we had a content fire drill that was given to us. Uh, we had to create a video with about, I think about 90 minutes preparedness time. So I was a little bit nervous. I felt a little bit uncomfortable uh, doing a video on something I wasn't really prepared on doing, uh, but I felt pretty good afterwards. Uh, I felt it was a little bit rushed, but uh, I was also on the phone with the government, so uh, I wasn't really focusing on creating the video, so that kind of threw me off a little bit. But overall, I felt pretty good after, and I was very nervous before, but I got her done. So we were asked to prepare a contact list with Google Sheets, which is just like a spreadsheet, and uh, we had to put about 10 names, 10 numbers, 10 email addresses uh, for close contacts, friends and family. And this is important uh, in the real estate business because building a database and having that structure is key uh, for leads and providing service to people that you, know, uh, you need to reach out to. So with the content creation and the fire drills that we've been doing, uh, I can see this really translating to real estate uh, for a few reasons. Uh, the fire drills, we had 90 minutes to get it done. Uh, in real estate, you, you might get that call from the buyer or seller with a, a strange request or something that needs to be done right away and you have to be willing and able and ready to do that within a moment's notice. Uh, my health happenings journey is going pretty well. Uh, there was a storm on the Father's Day so I missed my one hour. I only got about 43 minutes done that day so I was a little disappointed that I didn't quite reach the hour. Uh, maybe I should have did something inside uh, but again that, that's just an excuse um, but these things are going to happen. I've started to log my food in my Fitbit app and I think tracking my food and knowing what I'm putting into my body is probably the most important part of it. Uh, the exercise is key too, but putting the correct fuel into your body is what you really need to do and that's what I'm going to be focused on this coming week. Uh, so I put out a video about my health happenings recently and I talked a little about my actual weight and getting on the scale. Uh, I only lost a pound seven, I think maybe two pounds or less. And I was a little disappointed about that, but the response I got was actually pretty overwhelming. Uh, lots of friends and family reached out to me with ideas about what I can do. And they had a lot of ideas about, you know, what I should eat and what I can do to continue on my health happenings journey. Uh, the response was pretty overwhelming. I was pleased with it. Putting myself out there in my health happenings video was a uh, little nerve wracking. Again, I didn't want to even hit the record button, but I just did and started talking. Uh, maybe it was a little dry, but I, I really wanted to open up and get people to see the real side of me. Well, at first I was kind of nervous. I didn't even want to hit the record button. Uh, I talked about my actual weight and getting on the scale, uh, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, and it was a little bit nerve wracking, uh, but the response was really good and I got lots of feedback. Uh, so I hope to plan on doing more of these health happenings videos. Uh, semi-regularly or regularly, I'm not going to give a, uh, an exact number of how many I'm going to do, but I think going forward I'd like to continue putting these videos out more uh, whenever I can. So with my health happenings video I'm going to try and include more data. Uh, like I've been logging my food and logging, tracking my 
uh, distance and how long it takes me to walk or bike. And I want to include a little bit more data so that it might help other people that are in the same boat as me who want to lose weight or get healthy uh, or, you know, just want to have extra tips and tricks. So for the cigarette smoking, I have been tracking how many cigarettes I'm having a day. It was actually just a little over a pack a day before I started my health happenings. And now it's a little under a pack a day. So I'm having about 19 to 20 cigarettes a day. Uh, I find I was smoking a lot on my breaks at work or after I would eat and before bed. I was just smoking a little bit too much. And with the exercising, it's really taken its toll. So I'm smoking less now. Uh, my plan to quit smoking is by the end of this year, by the end of 2020, I'd like to quit smoking hopefully sooner. Uh, I'm going to put a plan together and do it. What's stopping me from quitting smoking tomorrow is I think I've started too many changes and with doing so many changes all at once I think it would be just a little bit too hard. Uh, I don't think I'm exactly ready to quit yet but I want to so it's something I'm going to do in the future. Uh, I'm not finding any good health benefits about my smoking. Uh, it's purely negative and it's going to have its consequences if I don't stop soon. Uh, I'm not finding any good health benefits about my smoking. Uh, it's purely negative and it's going to have its consequences if I don't stop soon. When I'm licensed and representing myself in the public, I don't want to be going to meet buyers and sellers uh, reeking like dirty smoke or smelling like a bum. So I want to be able to present, my way, m present myself in the best way possible. Uh, and that includes not smelling like a cigarette butt. Uh, so things I'm going to achieve this week are I'm going to work on my Google Sheets document. I'm going to be getting my filling up my contact list and creating my database, making it, well I've already created my database but I'm going to be growing my database and that's something I'm going to continue to do so I want to start to work on that so it becomes second knowledge. Uh, I'm going to continue on my health happenings journey. Uh, I'm going to keep logging my food, uh, exercising, walking. I'm still going to try and do the one hour of exercise per day and I'm going to try and keep up with the content creation and just putting out videos and getting the practice on camera. Uh, so this week with Father's Day and we had a little bit of a storm, I uh, wasn't necessarily able to get my full hour in for one day of exercise. Uh, it was a little bit disappointing. I guess I'm going to have to try and find out some more exercises inside that I can do. With my exam coming up uh, in mid or the end of July, I've got to make sure I keep studying a lot. Uh, I did tons of studying this week. Um, just I had to sit myself down, take some time and make sure that I was cramming as much as I could, uh, but also making sure that I absorb the info so I don't lose focus. Uh, what's stopping me from quitting smoking tomorrow is probably my willpower, and uh, no, I don't want to say that. <laughs>